Hello everybody, welcome to my walkthrough for Final Fantasy XIV Online. So I'm hoping to finally get into the Final Fantasy series after a very, very long hiatus. I basically played the very first game. The first game was actually one of the very first video games I ever owned on the NES. So I played that one and I also played the Final Fantasy VIII, which came out on the PlayStation 1 around the same time as The Legend of Dragoon. So, um... While I'm recording Final Fantasy Online, I decided to also start the main title entries, basically, like Final Fantasy 1, 2, what is it now, like, I think 16 is coming out, so, uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the character creation. Alright, so I usually end up going with the human type, I think. I think on the PlayStation 3 when I played this way back in the day, I think I put about, you know, I think it was a free month or so that I had of the game. I can't remember which race I played as, I really liked it. I think we'll just go with the he here. Uh huh. So we got Midlander, Highlander, okay. Well I do like the way the Highlander looks, I like the beard. JRPGs are always very unique with the way they do their beards. I kind of like the way that one looks. So we can go tall. 72 inches is still pretty tall, and that's the shortest. Let's go with 75. Yeah. Oop. What is this chiseled? Let's actually change the background here. See if we can get some. So that kind of gives us like a muscle tone. Oh, look at that beard. That's pretty unique. Now the one thing about uh, JRPGs, especially MMOs, they don't generally have hair that really appeals to me all that much. Honestly, I think I'll just go with the short hair there. Oh, I remember in the, let's go with like a silvery gray or something. Or maybe like a, a grayish brown maybe. What about down here? What do these ones look like? Kind of like the, the way that one looks. We do have to give our guy fake eyebrows too, I remember that. Okay, can we turn off his beard? Oh, you can split it up into two. So you can give him the mustache. Or the beard part. Sweet. Okay, so let's go back to his face. Uh, we were on jaw.
Okay, so I just had to turn off my notifications there. Um, let's go with those eyes. And we will... Let's go with like a lighter color. Maybe like a lighter blue, maybe. Eyebrows. Okay, let's put his fake eyebrows on. I think it's face paint we have to use. And sadly, you can only make them dark. Otherwise, they look very weird. So we'll go with like... We'll make them a bit lighter, I think, other than just the full black. I think we'll keep the lip color normal. Put his beard back on. Tattoos, we only get two options. Uh, let's check out hair color one more time. I'm thinking of going a little bit lighter. Yeah, let's go with that. Voice, let's see. <laughs> Let's see if we can find something less. That's a pretty great laugh. I kind of like that one. Yeah. Let's just go with that one. Save appearance? No. Okay, so I don't think any of this matters. So let's go with uh, 25. Um, okay. I don't think this matters all that much either. This is basically like a, a star sign, I think. I'm going to try to read these, I think, a little bit. I don't think this actually even affects anything. Let's just go with the first one. Okay, this is pretty important. So this is going to affect where we start. Pugilist, Marauder. Honestly, I'm thinking we're just going to go with the Gladiator. You have selected, yeah. Name. Alright, so it took me a while to find a name that I could go with. All the ones that I usually go with were used up, so I went with something that I also go with and usually in like single player RPGs. Traveris Targaryen. So. That's that. Let's go ahead and jump into the game here. Alright guys, the server was full so I had to wait quite a bit, but I think I finally got in. So let's watch this cutscene. Here. Here. 
So that was sweet looking armor. I'm gonna guess that that's probably end game stuff that we'll end up getting, but. Oh, here we go. Oh, it was a dream. I feel like I knew that. This looks way better than the, even the PS4 version, I feel like. The Aether. I feel like when I went through the character creation options, his face was actually one of them. I think these guys are bandits from what I remember. Can't rem I they're either bandits or they're like uh, mercenaries or something. Well, they're quite rude. Pretty sure he pulled that out of his own pocket. Yeah, I kind of wished that all these dialogues were voiced a little bit. Although I don't mind reading every once in a while. Oh, he just punched him out of the way. I kind of forget what the combat is like in this game. I, I think it's a little bit like one of the PS2 games. I can't remember what the one is called. It gets compared to it. Now I don't think the choices matter all that much, so let's just uh, let's roleplay as a 
person who wants power, I guess. Protecting the weak and fighting for what's right. I actually love the background music at this part. It's like piano. Adventurer's Guild. first trip well I have been I have played this before a little bit but let's go with yes I'm pretty sure we can actually ride chocobos in this game, which is really exciting. The um, Amalja. Amalja. -ah. I don't know how to pronounce that. So they were the lizard people, I guess. in the sun-baked south, surrounded by the shifting sands of an endless desert, she rises. A solitary rose amidst the dust and rock, a symbol of defiance. Her name, Ulda. Even with the coming of the seventh umbral era, Hope springs eternal for the mongers and merchants who vie for lost fortunes in this bustling oasis. As the twin faces of Nold Thal maintain their vigil over all that has been and shall be, the present proffers a brave soul. One whose arrival could mark the beginning of a new era of prosperity for the realm. did he give me? May the traders nurture our fortunes as they kindle the flames which burn within us all. For by fire are we reborn. Yeah, I thought I was going to regret giving him that hair, but it actually looks quite good in gameplay. We have a lot of hours ahead of us of just grinding in this game. It's going to be so fun. I'd like to try to join all the like the crafting guilds and the collect, uh, gathering guilds and stuff like that. We won't get that. We probably won't get to that within this video, I don't think.
That guy kind of looks like John Lennon. I guess it's probably the glasses. I like his armor though. Alright, I need to try to see if I can remember how to mess around with all this. Control scheme will go with the controller. Touchpad. Okay. When you ready? Okay. Lodestone, we will keep that off. Um, Okay, hang on a second here. I want to go through the options here. I'm going to go through and mess around with the HUD and stuff like that, so I'll edit it out once I'm done. Alright, so I basically just messed around with the HUD and stuff like that and turned off a few things that would basically make the game full of text and stuff like that, like I turned off other players' names and stuff, so it should help. So this teaches us about quests. Okay. This is all fairly straightforward. So he wants us to talk to the Adventurers Guild and we get some gill for that as well. I'm actually tempted to turn off the earrings and necklace if I can. Yeah, I really like the architecture in this game. They did a really good job. accepted okay use the duty list to help you complete your task yeah okay so let's go to I know we can turn off the helmets I think we may just have to unequip them for now until we can turn them invisible there we'll keep the bracelets on though just because they're can't even see them look how shiny the floor is too you can see the reflections and everything so when it's a green check mark that means we can complete it
the Warriors of Light. That's what they call the Warriors in the first game, I think. Sweet. It does roll off the tongue a little bit. Oh, do we get to fight finally? Debt collector. He's got these <laughs> bodyguards with him. I kind of like his goatee a little bit. Yeah, as you can see, this game's very dialogue heavy. I do remember that from the PS3 when I played it back on there. Like, it was. I remember having to skip a lot of cutscenes just because I wanted to see what the gameplay was like. But this time, I'm gonna try to take in the story as much as I can. Alright, that one's complete. We can actually zoom the camera in and out. I didn't even. I figured. I, I did it before by accident, and then I. Yeah, we'll keep it kind of... Listen well to the wisdom of Mamodi Modi. Then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you. I will do that. Okay, we got a skill. Let's see what these all do here. We got... Auto attack. What does that mean? Okay. Okay, so let's actually remove auto attack. I don't really want that on there. Mamodi the Propot. Pro pro oh my god. Proprietress. There we go of the quicksand wants you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventuring all right 107 gil 400 experience not bad So she's sending us to the Gladiators Guild. So that's the first job we picked. So I think we can get quests there as well.
So I think I will try to do every single side quest as well, just because I think we can get a lot of experience from them. And items, I guess. The smith. What the heck is that? Alright. Main menu grants quick and easy access to most of the games. Yeah, I already know how to use that. Sanctuaries. Crescent moon icon will appear to your right of your experience bar when you enter a sanctuary. While in these areas, you will accrue a resting bonus. Rested bonus. Okay. So you get extra XP. All right. Navigation, I think that's straightforward as well. Let's talk to this guy. I'm one of the Smiths. I'm not going to bother reading all this. I don't think he has much to say at this point. I know we can do quests later on, I think. Yeah. See, I almost wish I could have somehow got my character from my PS3 version, but I think I might have deleted them. Because I'm pretty sure I was like level 15, maybe? Level 10? Something like that. Which isn't a lot, I mean. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, it's raining. So these are the aetherites that we can attune. So you can fast travel with these. Which is pretty straightforward, so we won't bother reading that. I guess at this point we'll just basically continue doing the main story for now. I like that you can see a lot of random people with amazing armor. Due diligence. Wyman would like to know what you think of Ulda. For 50 XP? Sure. So this is just a drop-off quest? Sure. Looks like our quest is down here. Oh, this is the big one. So this one allows you to like fast travel between cities, I think. Oh, look at some of these people's armor. Oh, look at this guy's armor. Wow. One hundred thousand gil. These crystalline agglomerations. Yeah, they literally tell you about everything. I kind of like that. It kind of like makes you feel more connected to the world, I think. Amazing. I 
I do not wish to know anything yet. Return. So we learned the spell. So now we can fast travel back here, I think. For free. Yeah. Set home point. Oh, already is. Oh, here's another noob, just like me. Although, honestly, I did get quite good at my uh, PS3 version. I'm pretty sure I was, like, killing monsters and everything. Lightning shard. Tiny crystalline manifestation of eth etheric lightning energy. It's a crafting catalyst. Okay. Perhaps, yeah. The pugilist, so do I have to be a pugilist to do this quest? Is that how that works? Needs the pelt, the pelts of a few snapping shrews. Okay, so that's a fun quest. Finally do a little bit of combat looks like oh this is the letter from Wymond yeah I basically remember how to do the handing over items Revealed his finances to be wanting. So he's broke. Alright, well we're getting... We have 206 gil now, that's pretty good. Now why is this one red? So you want to be... A, so this allows us to change guilds, I think. I don't think we can do that until we become level 10. So I'll have to keep playing for a bit. What does this guy say? Oh, we get a potion. Restores up to 32% of HP, 160 points max. Okay. Seems like a lot of people are mean. Man, I can't wait to get into like the dungeons and the raids and all that stuff. It's gonna be amazing. Now I'm pretty sure there's actually like fishing and everything in this game too, so that's gonna be a real joy to do. Diddleita, diddleata. He's scared of us. Using items. Some items can be used granting various effects. Use from the item subcommands. All items with recast timers cannot be used again until the timer has expired. Yeah, that's straightforward. Um, so we can add that to our hotbar, which I think we will do, but let's add it to... So hotbar 1, 2, and 3 will probably be like our moves. I'm thinking maybe we'll do 4 will be our like items. Maybe not, maybe we'll change that up later on, but for now, let's keep it that way. Oh, he wants to give us his ring. Well, 
that's sad. Oh, I like that armor. I'm always observing other characters' armor. Oh, there's another shard, or, uh, yeah, Aethernet shard. We'll do these as we see them. I'm pretty sure if you get all of them, it unlocks fast travel for the gates or something like that. Couple quests in here, looks like. The Az Arzanith Ossiary. Why are everything so hard to pronounce in this game? You wish to sell this heirloom on behalf of Diddalada. Very well. Yeah, it's actually kind of sad. His ring is fake. Okay, so I think we'll take the health potions because we don't need MP at this point. Can't believe we still haven't leveled up. Oh, look at that. An eye patch or a hat or Allegan tin pieces. Well, I think we're going to go with the eye patch. Can we try it on? Oh, that didn't work. How do we observe? Yeah, I like it actually. What does he want us to do? Marmot blood. No idea what those are. You'll find them just outside the city. Well, that's good to know. So we got a couple quests now to fight some critters, so... I think we'll go do that soon. Another quest here. More potions, too. Yeah, it's like every side quest even has like a ton of dialogue and stuff attached to them. Even though a lot of these are simple fetch quests and stuff like that, it's still uh, quite rewarding. Okay, let's do... How do we access the map again? There we go. So we need to go that way to do our main quest. Or that way. Um, actually, let's try going in here. The world's worst husband. Key item. Key items can be found on targets by selecting the target, then selecting the appropriate icon. Okay. Oh, there's lots in here. We're hanging flyers for him. Let's actually do that quickly before we pick up any other quests. We don't want to pick up too many at once.
Okay, I think we'll turn this quest in. And then we'll talk to one of these other characters. Oh, there's the main quest here too. Um, let's go out here and talk to Genevieve. Oh, she's rude too. Okay. Pick it up. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Well, can we pick it up and keep it for ourselves? No, I am only doing this quest for the sake of completion. If this were real life, I would have just told her off, I think. Can't believe we're handing it back to her. Well, we still get 102 gil for a reward, so... Okay, so now... Let's do this guy's quest. Oh, we get some gloves now. Strength plus one, dexterity plus one. Wild ladybugs. So more killing. Alright. I guess we'll pick up this guy's as well. Fire shard this time. It has recently been discovered that this substance of unknown origin has the faculty to assimilate with other forms of matter, effectively restoring them to their original condition. This specific grade of dark matter has been shown to bond with best with the simple items created from, crafted from common materials. I don't even know what that means. Oh, used to repair equipment. Okay. Well, look at his armor. Okay, so this is where we can join the guild for our job, basically. Okay, lots of talking here. I think we'll kind of go through this quickly. He's just kind of telling us about the guild, basically. Wow, he's still going. Oh, we get food. Marmot steak. Yes. I will join. A decision you shan't regret. One moment. Yes, make way. Now hopefully we get some armor or something. Looks like all the people in here have really sweet armor looking. Like look at this. That one's a little bit basic. That's like the guy from behind the counter I think. Well she's the leader I think. Yeah. is a good strong name. 
Myla. No, I think we got to go with yes. Now we have another quest to slay animals. So we have a lot of fighting to do. Okay, and there's also another Aetherite here. Okay, and what was the... Our quest for... There it is. Listen to Cesaroga's explanation of the markets. Where's that? So if I'm there... There's the Miner's Guild. I don't think we can join any other guilds at the moment until we reach level 10. Okay, let's make our way to this quest here. Still raining. Level thirty five. Oh, so we can buy new weapons here too. It's good to know. Although I did read a uh, tips video said that buying weapons is basically pointless, so I don't know if we'll waste money on that. Okay, so that should be it for our main story quest, I think. So now we can return to yeah, we can take this road. For some reason, all of the other players' minions are showing up for some reason. I thought I turned them off.
awesome. Leveled up again. Alright, so now I think we're basically at about an hour, so before we end the video, let's go and complete some of these combat quests. Um, Central Thanalan. Yeah, you know what, I have... I have basically quests to kill monsters in all the different areas outside the city, so we'll just try to do whichever ones are around us at that time. So this is Central Thanalan, which we have... All these red circles will basically be... Okay, here's the Marmots. Okay, I do re somewhat remember combat. I know it, like, auto-hits or something like that. You just have to worry about using skills. Yeah. So now I can do fast blade. Oh. What did I just... Animal skin. Sweet. Finding... Two animal skins. I do remember on the PlayStation 3 version, um, it was really profitable to just like slay animals and gather ingredients and stuff out in the world and just sell them on the market boards. Can make a little bit of extra money that way. High quality items. So they're different stacks. So I can't remember what the. So you have four pages. Classes such as Gladiator and Marauder can chain together with their weapon skills to deal additional damage. Okay. I think I remember how that works. So basically now, if I do Riot Blade, or I guess I have to do this one first, and then Riot Blade. Yeah, it does extra damage. Marmot meat. Yeah, things, the ingredients don't drop very frequently. Okay, I want to know what this fight or flight does. Oop. What did I just click on? Adventure plate. Oh, sweet. Okay, what was it? Fight or flight. Oh, I just activated it. Increases damage dealt by 25%. Oh. Well, that's uh, probably something I should use when fighting bosses and stuff. What's over here? What do we got? The snapping shrews. And what else was there? There was ladybugs. These aren't dropping any ingredients for us. There we go. So 
that's pretty much all there is to do out here, I think. Oh, there's some fates here. So these are timed events that we can do. Let's go make our way back. And then I think if we exit out the western exit, we can basically do the other uh, monster slaying quest there. Beat red beetles, beat red. Which is just to slay some ladybugs. We have like three quests in there. I mean, I might as well turn that one in while we're running by. I keep trying to sprint, but I think having your sprint on a cooldown in this game is a little silly. I'd rather just have like a stamina bar or something. That's cool armor there too. I think this guy was going to give us gloves, I think. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, let's go turn this last one in. And then, we'll basically uh, kill the ladybugs, return back to the gladiators guild, and then that should be it for this video, I think. Oh, we got our eye patch. Let's equip it right now. Oh, we can't. We need to be level 5. A couple more quests and we should be able to wear it. Okay, western entrance is right there. There's more marmots out here too. Yeah, so the drops are obviously random. For ingredients and stuff like that. And pelts. Yeah, now that we're level 5, I think we can take on the next quest, it said. I want to keep going down there. Oh, there's a blue thing down there. I think we'll tackle this area in the next video. Oh my goodness, look at that. Crazy. There's a lot of stuff on this map. Okay, where am I going? Well, there's another main story quest there too. Man. Starting to get a little bit overwhelmed, I think. 
We got two quests to turn in here, which is good. This is the guy that was going to give us gloves. Leather or fingerless leather gloves or leather light mitts. I don't think intelligence helps us at all. Yeah, let's go with these. And we can equip our eye patch. So let's turn on our helmet for now. And then gloves. Yeah, they're pretty cool. We have dispatched the beasts. I present to you this hunting log. I forgot about that. So that's something it, it like uh, gives you extra XP for killing certain a animals. So yeah guys, I think this is a good spot to end the video, so if you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in part two.